Hello, my Aries friends. Let's go over your astrological reading for this upcoming eclipse and see how it's making a great impact on your sign. This has been an interesting year for you, my Aries friends. A lot of um, change and movement finally happening for, happening for you since Mars finally got out of the sign of Sagittarius last year and went through its retrograde. When your ruling planet Mars retrogrades, you feel like your engine has stopped, your motivation has stopped, you have stopped. And over the past three years, it's made a drastic impact on you. And now it's finally started moving. It started at the beginning of the year. It happened around Christmas time in 2016 when Mars finally was freed out of its retrograde period and out of the sign of Sagittarius where it felt extremely uh, restricted. You felt that you had all these dreams and ideas, but there was an impossible way to make it happen. So finally, as the new year happened this year, possibilities came forth again. Your energy came back again. Your Mars ruling en engine started back up. And so as we go through this year, one of the main things that the eclipse cycles have in store for you happen in your fifth house. That's where the eclipses uh, made their biggest impact for all Aries friends. Um, and what happens with the fifth house is that's what rules all things having to do with our children. It has to do with uh, things that bring us joy and happiness in this lifetime, fun, our romance, um, our children, our creativity and our own unique creative energies and what we do and what we make to bring us happiness and um, pride, I suppose you could say, in what it is we are here to do. It has a lot. It's ruled by Leo. Leo is the sign of our ego and what our personal wants and needs are. It's about getting the appreciation that we deserve for the things that we do and for the people that we protect, like the lion that Leo is, right? So this year as these eclipses come through, in February, in the eclipse cycle that happened then, it was February 7th and February 25th, there was an event that happened for you that really shook that up and said, wow, I'm not happy. <laughs> I am really unhappy with this area in my life, okay? Maybe it had something to do with your children, okay? Because it's a major part of what the fifth house is. Maybe there was something, uh, an argument of some sort that happened with your children. Maybe it was an argument with somebody else in your life, whether it's work or family or whatever it is, but something deep down inside of you said, this has got to change, right? So here we go into the next eclipse cycle. This is where the big changes start to happen. It's not just about the surface energies from behind that are trying to make themselves known. Now it's when the changes want to start taking place. And here we go this week in this eclipse cycle, and that's where it's happening. Fifth house for you. You are gonna. It's going to become very blatantly obvious what it is that has to change. Events may happen that make it change as well in terms of your children, in terms of greater happiness, and in terms of what your purpose is here on this earth and what it is you're supposed to do. Remember, you as an Aries, my friend, are a natural leader. You are the first sign of the zodiac. You are ruled by Mars. You are the one that has the warrior spirit and energy to lead people into new territories. And that's exactly what this eclipse is bringing for all of us on a greater level. Um, is that we're going into new beginnings all together and we need those strong leaders. And in order to be a good strong leader, you've got to be happy with them. So pay attention to what the universe is telling you, right? Are there things that are trying to break you free from patterns of the past that no longer work? Okay, because you as an Aries, you get very restless if things aren't new and fresh. There's a reason why you are feeling extra needles under you, okay, because you've got the planet Uranus in your sign. It's been there, I believe it was 2013 is when it went in. It's going to be there for a few more years. you got a few more years of Uranus, the slow-moving planet, going through your sign. But as it does, it tries to break chains, break things free and help you change and reinvent yourself in ways that you haven't seen in your lifetime. This is a once in a lifetime thing. This is beautifully slow moving transformative planet goes through your sign. It makes big changes, but it may make large changes. That could be total upheaval in family. That could be total upheaval in home, work, things where people really expect you to be the leader. You may feel that there is a push from the universe telling you it's time to move forward. Follow what your intuition says. Don't act on impulse. Always think it through, of course, and this eclipse cycle is going to help you especially to come to terms with a lot of those things. So, my Aries friends, 
Um, another thing, too, with looking at what these eclipse cycles did, they help you to weigh out what needs to stay and what needs to go and who needs to go, especially. That's another thing, too, with the fifth house. It rules things of fun and um, friendships and things along those lines. So you will have found that through this year, uh, some friends may have very much upset you. Some colleagues may very well have upset you. And the universe is kind of weeding out the people that no longer help in what your personal growth cycles are. So if you find that in this time frame, friendships are ending, know that the universe is working on your side to move them out and move people in that are more in tune with where your life is going now. So other than that, that's where it is for Aries in this eclipse cycle. Know that the universe is behind you, my friends. And if you have any questions or want to get a little bit more detail in it, be sure to message me, uh, contact me, and we can do a reading specifically for you and see what the upcoming year has in store. And until then, sending you light and love.